Have old furniture that you want to refinish but don't know how? Don't worry, you're not alone. Many people have old furniture that they want to refinish but don't know where to start. The good news is that refinishing wood furniture is not as difficult as you might think. With a little time, patience, and the right tools, you can refinish your furniture and give it a new lease on life. This guide will show you everything you need to know about refinishing wood furniture, from stripping the old finish to applying the new one. By the end, you'll be a pro at refinishing furniture and will have the skills. Have a look at different steps to refinish wood furniture. We'll cover all you need to know about refinishing wood furniture like an expert in this post. We'll start by explaining the different types of wood finishings, and how to choose the right one for your furniture. We'll also give you a step-by-step -step guide to stripping, sanding, and refinishing your furniture. And finally, we'll give you some tips on how to maintain your furniture so that it looks its best for years to come. 1. What you'll need. Before you start refinishing your furniture, you'll need to gather a few supplies. Below is a list of everything you'll need to refinish your furniture like a pro. Safety goggles. Protective gloves. Stripping agent. Old toothbrush. Clean rags. Tack cloth. Sandpaper, coarse, medium, and fine grit. Stain of your choice. Foam brush. Lint-free cloth. Polyurethane. Clear coat. Now that you have everything you need, it's time to start refinishing your furniture. 2. Preparing the furniture. The first step in refinishing your furniture is to prepare the piece for stripping. This involves removing all hardware, knobs, handles, etc., sanding the surface, and cleaning the piece of dust and debris. You'll also want to put on your safety goggles and gloves to protect your eyes and hands from the stripper and stain. Once the piece is prepared, you're ready to start stripping the old finish. 3. Applying the stain. Now it's time to apply the stain. Before you start, make sure to test the stain on a small, inconspicuous area of the furniture to make sure you like the color. Once you've decided on the color, pour some of the stain into a container and dip your foam brush into it. Then, brush the stain onto the furniture in long, smooth strokes. Work in small sections and don't forget to get into all the nooks and crannies. After you've applied the stain, let it sit for a few minutes before wiping it off with a lint-free cloth. Be sure to wipe in the direction of the grain to avoid streaks. Before proceeding to the following step, allow the stain to cure fully. 4. Sealing and protecting the wood. It's time to seal and preserve the stain now that it has dried. This is crucial since it will increase the longevity and maintain the greatest appearance for your furniture. Simply use a foam brush and a light coat of polyurethane to accomplish this on the furniture. Once more, work in tiny pieces and brush against the grain. 5. Before utilizing your furniture, let the polyurethane finish completely dry. This might take anywhere between 2 and 24 hours, depending on the brand you choose. That's all, then. Your furniture has now been successfully refinished. One of the great things about wood furniture is that it can be refinished. This means that you can give an old piece of furniture a new lease on life by stripping it down and refinishing it. Not only does this give you a piece of furniture that looks like new, but it can also be a great way to save money. If you're interested in refinishing wood furniture, we have mentioned a few things you need to know. In this article, we'll give you a quick rundown of the basics of refinishing wood furniture. We'll cover everything from stripping the old finish to staining and sealing the wood.